morning welcome back it's um <laughs> it's wednesday it is wednesday i don't know the date it's not important is it um i'm just doing a bit of work in the shop i've just sent off some parcels um i reduced stuff on my etsy account because i want to try and clear as much as possible so somebody just got an absolute bargain and i'm a bridgewater uh, vintage flower jar thing but um you know it is what it is at least i haven't got a packet to take it with us um yeah i've been out with the dog this morning it is again raining one minute sunny the next raining one minute sunny the next that's what it's like uh plans for today i'm just gonna potter around in the shop for a bit i've got the door unlocked but um i've not made a big hoo-ha about being open so and i don't have blinds or anything outside so not many people will even, even notice i had a couple of people in and then i did some jobs and i thought oh do you know what it's sunny i'm gonna put the blinds out and put some things outside entice people in and within 10 minutes, absolutely throwing it down again and there's nobody around. So I don't know whether it's worth me being here. Um, last few days, I've just been doing loads of packing. Packing, packing, packing. That's mainly what I've been doing. Um, I've not been feeling great either. So I've done a little bit of, like last night, I think I went to bed about half six or something because I was just, just felt rubbish. So anyway think I'm starting to feel better but I still feel a little bit croaky. I want to say a big thank you to everybody that went over and um, subscribed to our Lincolnshire Pickers um, YouTube. Um, still no idea when that's going to start. It's going to be when we've got reseller content. Oh my word it's heavier than ever. <laughs> oh god. Uh, is that hail? Oh I'm gonna have to get my stuff in. Hang I feel on. like the weather is taking the mickey so <laughs> i went and got everything in and it's not stopped raining but it's definitely brightening up it's like it's waiting for me to get the blinds in and then it's going to go sunshine <laughs> i gave up i brought the stuff out and in that many times i was just like oh do you know what there's nobody around now anyway i'm just gonna look up and come upstairs so um there's not a lot I can pack now, to be fair. I've packed all the pictures, the ornaments, I've packed a lot of clothes, I've packed a lot of like kitchen stuff that we don't use every day, like baking stuff and things like that. Um, everything else is gonna have to like wait till the last minute. The only thing I do need to do is I need to go through my kitchen like cupboard and get rid of stuff that's in there. I've got like some coconut flour and stuff when I was doing my low carb and all that just needs to go now it's probably out of date so i've just got to throw it away which is a shame because it's quite expensive but yeah should have used it shouldn't i um yeah i just thought i'd have a little chat about youtube and and um the past and the future uh it felt really weird like letting you in <laughs> to my family because i've always been quite uh reserved when talking about my family um i've always tried not to use names i've always tried to um keep them out of it because they're not the ones that choose oh, i'm gonna have to shut the blind but i need sunglasses or something hang on that's better i've just shut the blind a little bit the bright light was just getting in my eyes um yeah i don't know if you've noticed or not but I'd been really careful. Occasionally names would slip out. Occasionally I'd say stuff about my family, but I've always really tried not to talk about my family, use their names or exactly what they do or uh, where they live or that sort of thing, because obviously it's my choice to do YouTube and if they don't choose to do YouTube, then I keep them out of it. Um, which you might think is a bit weird when I'm talking about my life and what I'm doing, but it's just a line that I made. <clears throat> and so occasionally I know that my children's names might slip out or my husband's name, <laughs> but on the whole, I'd say my son or my daughter um, and not actually s say specifics. So when I did my last video and I said, my son, Bob, it felt really strange to say his name on video 
And when I edited it back, it was like, oh, that feels weird. Feels like um, my barrier has gone back a little bit. Like I'm letting you in a bit more. <laughs> I don't think I'm particularly cagey. Maybe I am. I don't know, careful, I suppose, is what I am. Um, yeah. So my son, Bob, is my middle son um, and his girlfriend, Court. They're the ones that are coming with us. Um, he's quite reserved, so I don't think you'll be seeing a lot of him on YouTube, but we will try and coax him out of his shell a little bit. And my husband's not a massive fan of being on, on camera either, but you have seen him in the past, for definite. I've put my glasses on because it was giving me a headache looking at my own reflection but not being able to focus. And then there's sunshine behind and yeah, the sun's come out again now. <laughs> um, so the future plans. So yeah, I'll still be doing little bits of reselling like on my channel like I have done up to now, sort of show more of the vintage things that I pick up, maybe things that I'm going to put on my website or on Etsy, um, that kind of thing. But I also want to carry on doing the lifestyle kind of videos as well. So really looking forward to getting into the garden of our house when we eventually move. So, you know, there might be some gardening bits, cooking bits, uh, house bits, discovering Lincolnshire, so getting out and about in Lincolnshire. So really looking forward to that. And then the Lincolnshire Picker YouTube will be more um, reselling, concentrated on there. So um, yeah, I started saying it earlier and then I got distracted by the weather, but <clears throat> really appreciate so many of you going over and subscribing to that channel already. It means a lot. Um, and looking forward to, to doing some reselling like that. I always felt, uh, because I had the shop, I I didn't like talking about how much I'd paid for things if then I was going to sell it in the shop. I don't know why, but always when you're selling on eBay and that's a bit more anonymous, isn't it? But I felt like being in the shop, I didn't want to say, oh, I've paid two pounds for that. I'm going to charge 25 for it or whatever. Um, it also meant that when I sold items, I didn't have photos there as evidence, you know, I've sold this for however much because I didn't keep photos of all the stock that I'd got. So I couldn't do a what sold video or anything like that. So it made my reselling content very different to other people's. Um, and I know a lot of people like to know what things cost, what you can get for them and how quickly they sold and that kind of thing. So there'll probably be a bit more of that over on the other channel. Um, I don't know how that's going to evolve. I think it's going to be mainly Court's channel, but um, I may be involved with that as well. Depends how confident she is um, and how much I'm involved with it. Um, I don't. At, at the moment, we've said we're going to have like two separate businesses. So one is uh, my son's like computer repair and that kind of business, and the other one is reselling. But it may be that I do vintage stuff and the vintage side of reselling wise they do the more mainstream stuff so I don't know we're gonna just go and see where it takes us sometimes you've got to just follow what works on you I mean that's what we've always done when we first got together um, <clears throat> I was working well I worked with WH Smith soon after we met and my husband was a manager of a wine shop um, and then we went into business with his parents and we bought news agents and we worked in the news agents. Then when we had my second son, we realized that just working in a news agents wasn't very good with the small children and stuff. It's just too many hours, unsociable hours and stuff. So um, that business was sold and we didn't have a clue what we were gonna do. So my husband bought a van, put some postcards in windows and started doing gardening. Uh, and that went really well as well. And then we decided we wanted another adventure, so we ended up coming down to Devon, taking over another news agent, ran that for a few years, and then found out they were going to build a huge Sainsbury's right behind us, which they did. Uh, so we decided, we realised we had to expand and do other things, not just stick to the news agents thing. And that's when all the uh, selling art materials took over, and we ended up opening other art shops and stuff. But we've also tried 
selling on eBay and selling on Etsy and Amazon and all sorts of things. And it's funny because we've done so many things that I almost forget some of the things that we've done. At one point, this bit, and I can't understand why my brain blanked, blanked this out so much, but at one point we found a wholesaler that did all end of line clothes um, for Marks and Spencers and Oasis and uh, Wallace, and, you know, these are the high street stores. And I was buying clothes from those and then selling them on eBay. So they were all brand new, but just end of lines. Um, and I completely forgot that we'd even done that. <laughs> When I started like reselling again, like selling on Etsy secondhand and vintage and stuff, I completely forgotten that we'd done that. And there was so much going on, you know, bringing up three kids and running shops and doing this and doing that. It's just like sometimes <laughs> life just runs away with you. The sun's come out. You can see blue sky that way and blue sky that way, which means that it might just stay dry for a little bit. So we're going to go out for a walk and get some fresh air. Both of us are still recovering from whatever this has been that we've had. Uh, it's been a nasty old cold, that's for sure. Anyway, so that was my way of saying that I'm going to round up this video. Um, yeah, so the idea basically is in the future, I'd like my videos to be a mixture of all sorts of things like they are already so hopefully you'll stick around hope you'll enjoy the future content and if you really like reselling and a bubbly personality that is caught um then i hope you'll follow the link to picker um channel as well and i will let you know when a video goes out as i say there's no point in putting a video out until there's really good content so um we'll work on that right thank you so much for listening if you're still here then please do leave a thumbs up and a comment because that always helps the yoga rhythms as you know and um take care stay safe and i'll see you soon there you are <laughs>